that the Quran indicates a familiar link between humans and apes. One of the verses misinterpreted by some people who have succumbed to evolutionist indoctrination concerns the way that Allah once turned a group of Jews into apes. The verses in question read, I seek refuge in Allah from the accursed Satan. You are well aware of those of you who broke the Sabbath. We said to them, Be apes, despised, cast out. We made it an exemplary punishment for those there then, and those coming afterwards, and a warning to those who have taqwa. Those who defend the lie of evolutionary creation maintain the erroneous thesis that this verse contains a family link between humans and apes. It is obvious that no such meaning running parallel to the theory of evolution can be extracted from this verse. There are several distinct reasons for this. The punishment in question may have been a spiritual one. In other words, these Jews may have been made to resemble apes in terms of character, rather than physically. Allah knows the truth. If the punishment in question did take place on the physical level, then such an event can only have occurred outside the laws of nature, to Allah's so willing it, in the form of a miracle. Yet the theory of evolution maintains that one species turned into another slowly and gradually over the course of millions of years as a result of natural conditions and coincidences. The words, we made it an exemplary punishment for those there then, and those coming afterwards, and a warning to those who have taqwa, in the following part of the verse, show that the transition referred to took place during the time of the Jews in question, in other words, over a very short space of time. This event revealed in the Qur'an has therefore nothing to do with the fallacies of the theory of evolution. The punishment described in the verse refers to one specific instance and applies to one specific time and a specific number of people. The theory of evolution, on the other hand, maintains the illogical and unscientific scenario of all the humans who have ever lived being related to apes. The verse refers to humans being turned into apes, whereas the theory of evolution claims the transition ran in the other direction. In verse 60 of Surat Al-Ma'idah, Allah refers to a corrupt community being turned into pigs and apes. The verse runs as follows. I seek refuge in Allah from the accursed Satan. Say, Shall I tell you of a reward with Allah far worse than that, that of those whom Allah has cursed and with whom he is angry, turning some of them into monkeys and into pigs, and who worshipped false gods? Such people are in a worst situation and further from the right way. If persisted with the erroneous logical framework we have been examining throughout this film, then one must arrive at the irrational conclusion that the verse indicates a familial link not only between humans and monkeys, but also between humans and pigs. Yet not even evolutionists claim there is any such relationship between humans and pigs. Conclusion We have seen the following reality in all three sections of our film series. The Qur'an refutes Darwinism. There is not a single verse or expression in the Holy Qur'an that constitutes any evidence for Darwinism. On the contrary, the verses of the Qur'an show that human beings and all living things are the work of the Almighty Allah's commandment that they should be, and of His flawless creation. The 
Prophet Adam, peace be upon him, was the first human being created, and all human beings are descended from him. The groundless claims to the effect that some verses contain evidence in favor of evolution are totally based on misinterpretations, distortion, and irrational, illogical, and fantastical imaginings. Anyone with a normal intelligence can see the illogicality and ridiculousness in the way that evolutionists depict certain verses of the Qur'an as so-called evidence for Darwinism. They will also see how lacking in foresight, reason, and honesty that mindset that looks for evidence for evolution in the Qur'an truly is. No conscious Muslim can possibly subscribe to Darwinism, a theory targeted against the true faith and the fact of creation. To ignore the global damage caused by this theory, to underestimate it and to avoid engaging in the intellectual struggle against it are unacceptable. As we stated at the start of this film, lack of information is a significant factor in people's falling into such an error. Yet subscribing out of ignorance to a corrupt ideology such as that of the theory of evolution, which denies Allah, creation, and the true faith, imposes grave responsibility on the individual. It is therefore of the greatest importance, in terms of the hereafter, for Muslims to keep away from such errors. In the Qur'an, Allah stated on the subject as thus, I seek refuge in Allah from the accursed Satan. Do not pursue what you have no knowledge of. Hearing, sight, and hearts will all be questioned.